What is up guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is slightly different from my usual style of vlogs. However, it's still a very important topic that I feel must be addressed for the future of Sri Lankan tourism. Over the past three years, we've been fortunate to travel all around this beautiful island that we get to call home and promote tourism to amazing destinations and services that bring out the beauty of Sri Lanka. While we have never failed to showcase the beauty of the island, its people and its services through all our vlogs on our This is Sri Lanka program, we have not been able to share with you the pitfalls of the tourism industry and its negative impacts on our communities and the environment. Although this island historically was self-sufficient and inherently sustainable, the tourism industry has fallen short of being a sustainable activity despite its far reach and dependency found in every nook and corner. From unethical practices of stalking animals on safaris to poor waste management found in many regions, the exploitation of local communities for profit and the cruel practice of animal enslavement for tourism activities. We've seen it all and it's disappointing to think that even now we have not understood the gravity of not protecting our greatest assets as a nation. Its flora, fauna and its communities with a more regenerative and sustainable tourism for this beautiful island. Having interacted with many tourists from all parts of the world, we've also come to learn that they too are completely put off by these practices and actually dissuade others from engaging in them. Yet many of our vendors are still unaware and uninformed of this crucial fact and continue to develop their businesses in an unsustainable manner that is ruining the reputation of Sri Lanka tourism. Setting the right tone by local enterprises is essential to ensure that all tourists follow suit to building a sustainable model. The ongoing pandemic has given Sri Lanka a much needed intervention before we took these practices to the point of no return. And so we find ourselves at a very crucial point in time where we can set Sri Lanka tourism down a regenerative path. Through our travels, we've come across a number of vendors who have already embarked on this journey. One such program supporting these vendors is the GLX Digital Evolvers program, which includes a collective of entrepreneurs in the industry focused on building sustainable and regenerative tourism models to promote conscious tourism for when Sri Lanka attracts a large number of tourists once again. From creating experiences focused primarily on uplifting and benefiting the local communities, to focusing on excursions that promote observation rather than exploitation and building strict self-regulating processes to ensure sustainable tourism is encouraged to the mass market. A number of organizations have already embarked on creating the much needed change for the Sri Lankan tourism industry. Yet it is still not enough for us to effect this change on a scale large enough to reverse the damage that has already been done. So I would like to encourage all those of you engaging in the tourism industry to embark on a similar journey. Whether you are a tourist visiting for six days or a hotel catering to a hundred guests, we all have a part to play. The new world of tourism that we are stepping into is vastly different from the one that we are leaving behind. And it is in everybody's best interest for us to speed up the growth of a sustainable tourism for Sri Lanka. Feel free to reach out to us or any other similar initiatives listed below if you would like to know how you can impact a positive change and help build a sustainable and regenerative tourism for Sri Lanka. That's it for this one you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!